What's up folks? Doing a video today. I'm finally getting to get outside. Been stuck inside for days. We had ice on top of ice on top of ice. It's been melting for three or four days and it's still got some spots in the driveway is pretty bad. But I did this before that came. I didn't have time to do a video because I worked on it all day long. And the storm was coming, so I got home. But right here, I put in a gate. I got all this cleaned up in here. There's a pile of stuff in there, but I got all that cleaned up there by the wall. Uh, if anybody's watching any of my videos, that's a wall from back in the slavery days that the slaves built. We put up another fence here because the fence on the other side of it is bad. But supposedly what I hear is you can't tear it down. It's against the law. So I wouldn't want to anyways. So this had from this post here had a gate in it, which I'm not sure why we did that. And it went to that. T post that red T post over there so I just took it loose from there and strung it. I was gonna cut this tree down but I got it to go around that tree I had to cut it down shorter and redo it but I worked on this up here I don't know three or four years ago and cleaned this up and I'm still working on it but this tree here on the other side I fell because see he bulldozed all that and when he bulldozed it up over there he caught it on fire and this tree caught on fire and it burnt down and it landed on the fence here so I cut the fence out right here and just brought the gate around to here and made it into here because right over there is where I went last year I had a set over at the pond and you see where that gate is there that goes in to my neighbors behind me and I've had access to that but can't get over there because of this wall but he the guy who owns this, rents this, puts his cattle in there, so he bulldozed right through there. It's got some pretty good open land over there, and there's another pond. So I'm going to trap it next year. That's why I did this, so I can get over there with the four-wheeler. And then uh, I'm going to be trapping over here, too. Uh, not just here by the pond, but some other places. <coughs> I got a spot up there where my camera is that I do my camera at uh, where I got my bobcat set I can get through there because I put a gate in there but it's so badly rocky it's terrible on my four-wheeler my four-wheeler has no back shocks the rear ends made onto the frame it's an older four-wheeler so if I, I can get through here now and it's a lot smoother and get back around to some good places to trap so I cleaned this all up on the other side here there was a big multiplier rose bush there buck brush and then I cleared a spot through there there were some limbs where the deer come through so they'll come over the fence here during deer season and uh, hopefully the coyotes come through here now because the fence is really old that was there This stuff is so old, you can see this. It's almost like hog wire. It's almost impossible for any animal to get through but a coon or something like that. A coyote ain't going to get through it. So this is going to give them another access point to come through here. My first year I did a big set right here. I had some coyotes come to it. I had my camera back here. But they were kind of skittish of it, and I can't figure out why. I've never caught nothing back here in the woods but coons and possums. So, 
but we got some open land over here a bunch of open land over here and I'm guessing up there that's his too that's another cattle pasture and, uh, I'm gonna see about trapping up there I'm gonna go scouting it out and looking at it but all this here was buck brush to a certain point I took one of those push weed eaters looks like a lawnmower and did a bunch of this and all my trails last year uh, I really need to get me one because I burrowed it but I'd like to get this all cleaned up and then I'm gonna get some limbs off here and then I got to take care of that limb hanging over the trail there up there when I did this the next day I had a couple trees down from the snowstorm so I took care of them too but I'm excited I got this done because next year I'll have these two more places to trap and bring you guys hopefully I'll have some luck there uh, plan on getting some more DPs uh, the pond over there sits up in the middle of some woods so I think it'd be good for some coons there I've seen coyotes scat there before so I'm hoping there uh, it's just going to be something new to me and figuring out where to put traps over there but hopefully I'll get them in the right places but I just wanted to bring that to you guys and show you my new trapping spot I got to next year a little bit of work made it possible so thanks for everybody that subscribes to me Thanks for watching my video. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. If you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. Uh, check me out on Facebook. I got two links on Facebook. To, one's my personal and one's the man within outdoors. I have my Instagram uh, and my Twitter. And all my links are on my intro video on my page. So hit me up there. Find me on Instagram. If you've got an Instagram or Facebook or whatever, hit me up on there. But, oh, and also I want to, before I get off here, I want to give some shout outs. So, uh, Trapper J Outdoors, check him out. Coffee Outdoors, check him out. Now all these guys have got good, good videos. Uh, uh, looking up uh, b and Outdoors. And of course my brother from another mother. Streeter Boys Outdoors. Check him out. I'm um, hoping I don't leave him. Sean Tappy of uh, Trapping Arkansas. Check him out. Real good channel. He does a lot of skinning and trapping and stuff like that. So... Hit these guys up and uh, i'm hoping i didn't forget anybody i should have wrote them all down <coughs> uh, let me see if i'm forgetting anybody live more outdoors you got to check this guy out he does a lot of trapping he gets foxes and bobcats and this year he got uh two deer two nights in a row in a snare uh pretty cool the way he let them go you guys ought to check that out live more outdoors but he does some skinning too and if i forget anybody else then i'll hit you up on another video thanks guys Don't forget to hit that subscribe button later hey folks i'm back i also forgot to tell you uh i plan on getting some uh the man within outdoors shirts made I got uh, three different versions. I'm getting ready to get another one. Now there are, if I don't get more orders, then they are more expensive that way because the more you order, the cheaper it is. So if anybody's interested in the Man Within Outdoor shirts, if you want to check them out, like I said, go to my Facebook. They're right there on my Facebook, Russell Jared. The man within outdoors. 
Uh, all the pictures are on there. Check them out. And if you want one, let me know. Tell me your size. And then I'll get back with you when I get a few more orders so it can make it cheaper for you. Now, if you don't want to wait, then you can go ahead and order. You know, being more expensive, I wouldn't know why you'd want to do that. But if you want to, I'll order it. It's uh, after I order, it's two weeks shipping. And then the time that I have to take to ship it to you and uh, how I'm going to ask for payment would be you send me a money order in the mail, preferably from the post office. And then that way you can keep track of your, your money order by tracking it. It's the safest way to do it. So, and it's the easiest way for me. So if you guys are interested in a shirt, hit me up on Facebook. Russell Jared, the man within outdoors. Thanks, folks. Later.